hey guys i hope you guys are doing good today and welcome to the today's video so today we are going to talk about something on edge computing so we have already discussed this particular topic and there is a detailed video on this topic so if you not watch that video i will place the link here you can go ahead and watch out that video and come to here please do watch out this video fully so that you will be understanding what is edge computing and its example in the real time if you miss for five seconds you will be losing the knowledge so don't skip the video watch fully so first you have to understand what is edge computing so edge computing is a distributed computing paradigm that enables data processing and storage to be performed closer to the source of the data rather than at centralized location so this is what edge computing so we will be discussing edge computing examples that will give you some brief knowledge about how exactly this particular concept is used in a real time okay so there are seven super cool examples that i have curated for you i will go ahead from the reverse manner so we will first check on the seventh one okay seventh is agriculture so edge computing can be used in agriculture to monitor and optimize crop growth in real time okay so this is super cool right for example say for example like sensors placed throughout a field could collect data on soil moisture and temperature and feed that data to an edge computing devices for analysis and the decision making so this is very helpful in the agriculture layer so number six that we are going to talk about is on gaming edge computing can be used in gaming to reduce latency and improve the overall gaming experience say for example gaming could be hosted on the edge computing devices right and it reduces the amount of time it's take for data to travel between the players and the game server so this is really super cool right number five that we are going to talk about is on autonomous vehicle okay so edge computing can be used in autonomous vehicles to enable real time data processing and decision making for example an autonomous vehicle could use sensors and edge computing devices to analyze road condition and make real time decision on how to navigate those conditions so number 4 we are going to talk about on retail So edge computing can help retailers improve their customer experience by enabling real time analysis of customer data say for example a retailer could use sensors and edge computing devices to analyze customer behavior in store and offer personalized recommendation based on that particular data so number 3 that we are going to talk about on healthcare so edge computing can be used in healthcare to collect and analyze patients data in real time and enabling faster diagnosis and treatment for example your wearable devices could collect a patient data and feed it to an edge computing device for analysis and the decision making okay so number 2 that we are going to discuss about on smart cities smart cities edge computing can help cities becoming more efficient and sustainable by enabling a real time data analysis and decision making say for example sensors placed throughout a city could collect data on traffic flow air quality and energy consumptions and feed the data to an edge computing devices for analysis and the decision making okay the finally number 1 we have came the so number 1 is for industrial automation so edge computing can be used to monitor and control industrial processes in real time and enabling fast decision making and reducing downtime say for example sensors at the manufacturing plant could collect data on machine performance and feed it to the edge computing devices for the analysis and the decision making so i would like to give some additional knowledge on this particular edge computing examples so it is used in other few industrial areas as well so it used in energy management financial service telecommunications transport and logistics and the public safety i will go for the public safety first so edge computing devices could be deployed in high traffic area to analyze 
the security footages and they detect the potential security threats in the real time as well. So same for the transportation and the logistic as well. Say for example, sensors placed on the vehicle and the cargo could collect the data on the location and the temperature and feed the data to an edge computing devices for analysis and the decision making. Number three is all about the telecommunications. So to reduce the latency and to increase the bandwidth so that the edge computing devices basically are deployed on the edge of the cellular network to enable the fast processing of data and reduce the latency for the customers. In financial institution space, so it's used to process a large amount of market data, make real-time trading decisions based on that particular data. It's used in energy management as well, basically to collect the energy usages and feed the data to edge computing devices for the analysis and the AI or ML decision makings. So these are all the things that it can be helpful.